rules Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis must follow explained by Nanny. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are looked after by Norlin Nanny Maria Ballarallo and a fellow graduate from the prestigious childcare school has revealed some secrets of the trade. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William hired Maria Ballarallo in 2014 to help look after Prince George, who was then just eight months old. The nanny, who trained at the prestigious Norland College in Bath, now also cares for Princess Charlotte, five, and Prince Louis, two. Linda Hood, who graduated from the leading childcare college 15 years ago, has revealed what it is like to study at the school and has also told of the rules Ms. Barallo is likely to use on the Cambridge's three children. Ms. Hood was full of praise and admiration for the college, which has been producing nannies for the rich and famous since 1892. The nanny told Hello! Magazine, Norland has got a great name if you want to be a nanny, it's the go-to place. It was the best thing I ever did going there. I loved being there. The graduate, who has worked for a number of high-profile families, praised the course for equipping her with the skills necessary to look after young children. She said, it sets itself apart because it's a very practical course, so throughout the whole training, you're in college for one week and every afternoon you'll do a practical lesson, it could be cooking or sewing or learning about weaning or bottle feeding. Then every other week you're on a placement with the children. There's no other course that's like that. Ms. Hood, who has recently launched her own Nanny Luna app offering parenting advice to families, also discussed some top tips on disciplining children, which is likely to be what the Cambridge's nanny was also taught. The nanny suggested the best way to discipline a child was to set boundaries, and ensure that you, as a parent or carer, also follow them. She said, it's always got to be fair and I think it's got to be consistent. Children often thrive from having some boundaries. The main thing is they know what the boundaries are so you don't change those. It would be the same answer tomorrow if you ask the same question. Just having a little consequence for your actions is the main way to deal with something, and teaching them through being a good role model, saying that's not how we behave, we don't do that dash rather than using the naughty step. For example, say a child bites another child. You have to tell them why it's wrong, it hurts the other person, and if you do this again we will go home. The main thing is that you carry it out. Ms. Hood also gave tips on homeschooling and how to encourage children to actively participate in learning. She suggested incorporating play into learning as much as possible, as children are more likely to actively engage in the activity. However, when sitting at a table and learning from books is unavoidable. Ms. Hood advised doing so in short chunks. She said, taking a lesson outside or not just always sitting at a table is great. Say to them, I know it's super boring, but if we get through this bit then we'll go and have a play. It could well be the case that as Prince George and Princess Charlotte are currently being homeschooled because of the coronavirus pandemic, they too are following similar approaches to learning.